The Disinformation Governance Board, meaning America's Ministry of Truth, abruptly shut down yesterday, or did it? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is another Declaration of Truth from your host, Terry A. Hurlbut. Yes, you heard right. The Disinformation Governance Board is suspended. Not only that, but the Minister-in-Chief of Truth, the Director of the DGB, resigned. We're going to review the very brief history of the American Ministry of Truth, which many wags already observed didn't even last as long as CNN+. Plus. Sorry, couldn't resist. But seriously, folks, we just dodged a bullet. The only thing is, the gun is now concealed. So put on your full armor and watch out. Before I begin, I want to shout out to the sponsor of this channel, which is Conservative News and Views, link in the description, and be sure to check out the awesome CNAV store. Scroll down near the bottom for that link. Lots of good merchandise there, including this t-shirt. Can you read it? The Trumpinator saying, I'll be back. And while, you have, while I have your attention, I want to shout out to another sponsor, Bitnext. This is your replacement for Zoom, Slack, the Google G Suite, Microsoft Office 365, Dropbox, WeTransfer, and Chili Piper, among others. Unlike any of them, Bitnext protects your content and conversations so well even the administrators can't see it. So this is your channel for secure comms, conferencing, cloud storage, and file sharing. Best of all, everything is back end, so you don't even need client software. If you have a browser, you can use Bitnext. Follow the link and give them a try. 28 days free of charge. You can't beat that with a stick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the after action report will now begin. To review, last month, the Biden administration announced a new disinformation governance board within the Department of Homeland Security. Its mission, as the blaze quotes it, was to coordinate countering misinformation related to Homeland Security focused specifically on irregular migration and Russia. Oh, ho! everything from we're not getting swarms of people crashing our borders to we have always been at war with Russia. Replace Russia with East Asia and you have the Ministry of Truth from George Orwell's 1984. On May 2nd, incidentally the very day of the Roe v. Wade leak, DHS released this fact sheet explaining the mission of this Ministry of Truth, or Office of Truth. The headline is bad enough. Listen to how it reads. DHS Internal Working Group protects free speech and other fundamental rights when addressing disinformation that threatens the security of the United States. Well, that's worse than gobbledygook. Half of what that headline says contradicts the other half. But now, get a load of the second paragraph. I quote, Disinformation, which is false information that is deliberately spread with the intent to deceive or mislead, can take many forms. When it comes to DHS work, the department is focused on disinformation that threatens the security of the American people, including disinformation spread by foreign states such as Russia, China, and Iran, or other adversaries such as transnational criminal organizations and human smuggling organizations. Such malicious actors often spread disinformation to exploit vulnerable individuals and the American public, including during national emergencies, unquote. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't take many forms? What forms? And when they mention human smuggling organization, these guys are the government's friends. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot! Bill Mock who has lately been sounding less like the broken clock having its correct uh, moment telling the correct time, and more like Neo taking a time-release red pill, called out former Representative Jane Harmon from California on this very point. He said, and again I quote, Yes, they're right to compare this to Orwell in the Ministry of Truth. That's exactly what it sounds like, unquote Bill Maher, who then asked Harmon, who would direct this Office of Truth in 2025? Of course, when he said that, he conceded that Republicans will be back in the White House by then. Ms. Harmon didn't get it. Marr also called out Nina Jankowicz, director of this Office of Truth. She actually said, per the New York Post, that blue checkmark Twitter users needed the power to edit others' tweets. 
Furthermore, she proposed that some people have the blue check mark who shouldn't. I have a link in the description to a very instructive video of the Zoom meeting where she said that. Hat tip to Twitter user Maze, whose handle is at Maze Moore. M A Z E N O O R E. That's M O O R E. Worse than that, she said Big Tech silences voices on the left, not the right. Psychiatrists have a fancy Latin word for that projection, which means throwing off with the other person. I have another link in the description to the video catching her making that outrageous claim. And by the way, why do I keep calling this disinformation governance board an office of truth and not a ministry of truth? First, America does not have ministries. We call them departments. Second, this is an office in the Department of Homeland Security, hence Office of Truth. But by whatever name, this Office of Truth is now no more. For now, the Washington Post broke the news. I have a link in the description to Taylor Lorenz's tweet series linking to her story and giving us the key takeaways. After that, the American Center for Law and Justice had video and I have a link in the description to that too. I have other information from the Daily Caller, the Western Journal, World Net Daily, and Just the News. All these sources say that DHS has suspended the operation of this board. Furthermore, Nina Jankowicz resigned, though the department offered two nights ago to let her stay on. The administration puts out a lot of Bravo Sierra uh, which uh, about what they call vile personal attacks against Jankowicz. Those attacks consist of resurrecting some of her old tweets, making statements we now know are false. I have links in the description to all of them, like her saying Hunter Biden's laptop was a Russian disinformation operation less than two weeks before the election of 2020, or denying that a deep state exists. Or do you remember her riff on the Walt Disney Mary Poppins movie? Nina Jankowicz, you're no Julie Andrews. And how about her telling a British member of parliament that government should set standards of social media content and conduct? Add to it that staff at DHS want this office or ministry of truth to come back with someone like Gina, Lena Jankowicz at the helm. That according to Taylor Lorenz. The detestable boo-hooing. Apologies to Rex Harrison and Alan J. Lerner, has already begun, and I have a link in the description to one such boo-hoo. But by now you're all asking, why did the department suspend its office or ministry of truth? They won't really say. What, uh, was it really because Nina Jankowicz was subject to withering personal attacks? Come on, that's not going to face them. These people have no shame. I'll tell you what I think is really going on. Barack Obama, who is really pulling the strings, realize that the phrase Ministry of Truth is already a talking point. Furthermore, it's a talking point neither he nor his media allies can defend anymore. So, he gave the order, tell the public we're not going to have, have this Ministry of Truth anymore. Nina Jankowicz wrote a letter of resignation because she had become the lightning rod. Did she mean it? Well, she acts like a loose cannon on the gun deck, saying the quiet part out loud that some DHS staff say we need another Nina on board and not we need Nina back probably means she really is gone. So, fine. DHS reconstitutes its Office of Truth, but this time says nothing about it. That place has turned into a puzzle palace and that makes it the worst mistake George W. Bush ever made. So, watch carefully everyone. Don't let up on criticizing the Office of Truth just because the government has retreated from it. That they formed it at all should tell you everything you need to know. This government just tried to use overt censorship to decide the midterms. Don't let that happen. Take for granted that you can respect freedom or vote Democratic. You can't do both. Links in the description of the article, to video of the Zoom meeting, to her questionable statements, to the announcements by the ACLJ. In fact, to all the resources I mentioned, and to conservative news and views. I have another link to the awesome online store and to BitNext, as I also mentioned. And if you like what you've heard, you can like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Terry A. Hurlwood delivering another declaration of truth and reminding you to let the truth set you free.